The last round of la la last round of la la last round of Welcome to the Last Roundup Horror Club. I am Frank, and with me as always, Jason Miller. Hey. John Walmsley. <laughs> Give it to us. John Wolfs- John Wolfsley today. Hey. John Wolfsley, yeah, there we yeah, go. I like it. There it is. <laughs> then we also have yeah. Ray McGuff. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Dave Edmonds. With it. What up? <laughs> um, today we're going to talk about Wolf Cop from 2014, and uh, who who all here watched it? Uh, well, not I this year. I just yeah. got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. um, summary for this film: As a, str- a series of strange and violent events begin to occur, an alcoholic policeman realizes that he has been turned into a werewolf as part of a larger plan. Written and directed by Lowell Dean, uh, who did Another Wolf Cop and Super Grid, which I keep seeing little clips and advertisements for. I don't know if that's good or not, but regardless. Uh, Jason, do you have information on this? Tagline, here comes the fuzz. I don't know who it's distributed (laughs) by, uh, but it's on Blu-ray through Image Entertainment in 2015. Um, The first thing I thought was strange, and it makes sense at the end of the movie, was how like... um, totally relaxed and easygoing this police chief is about the alcoholism of one of his two employees <laughs> he's just like he almost thinks it's humorous but it makes sense in the end whenever they <laughs> reveal, make, they do the whole reveal um i think the the town is a, a great setting i like it a lot it's winter time in a small town clearly in canada um it's just a good i, I like it it's it's good for this time of year too i thought it was seasonally appropriate um, I, I I I love all Wait, the trends. Well, why why huh? was it clearly Canada? How, did you not hear them talking? He's <laughs> <laughs> a Canadian filmmaker. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. It's it's strictly Canada. And it almost seemed like it wasn't even just clearly just winter time. It was well. I mean, yeah, the the wolf cop it's himself. All the time. The drink. Right. The the um, Molson. He's drinking oh. Molson. The wolf cop himself, when he when he's talking as a as a human, he has a I think he has a strong Canadian accent, but maybe that's just me. Um, I picked it up too. Uh, <laughs> I love the transformations in this movie. I mean, it's really hard. Werewolves are tr- very tricky. It either yeah. goes really good or really bad, and uh, every one of them is fucking phenomenal in this. This is one of the best movies for that type of shit. Could have did without the exploding dick. That was a little crazy. <laughs> um, but honestly, some of the greatest werewolf transformations in the genre, I think. Um, there's some other good effects, too. The switchblade in the eye situation was really effective. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know why they made that guy the leader of the gang. I know that he's really the you know police chief or whatever, but it seemed like there was some some sort of uh power dynamic out of whack you know because this dude's kind of a douchebag there was older guys there that you know seemed like they should have been running the show <laughs> like <laughs> old enough to be this dude's dad um I, my favorite character uh is willie played by jonathan cherry uh i thought he was a great comedic sidekick for a while anyways until he did his uh, heel turn there at the end um <laughs> Yeah, uh, aside from a few rough-looking severed heads uh, and some barrel flash in the gunfights, I thought the effects were on point throughout this whole movie. Um, a lot of practical I, stuff. I yeah. yeah, like when he tears off that guy's face in the meth lab and then throws oh, it onto the, uh, the awesome. police car and it's just going back and forth. And then that dude is still alive and like runs up to uh, Willie and like screams with his face <laughs> off. That whole, that, all that <laughs> yeah. shit looks great. Um, yeah. And I, another, another thing I didn't like about it was the lore they created involving the lizard people creating werewolves. I don't need that. 
you can just make him a werewolf. They did it in Teen Wolf. They've done it a million other times. Um, you know, lizard people. That looked bad, I thought, at the end. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is definitely one of the better werewolf movies I think I've seen. Um, it's in the top 10 as far as werewolves. Um, and I gave it an eight. So who wants to go next? I'll go. Yeah, let's do John. Yeah, so I bought I bought this when it came out, um, just for on the title alone. I mean, Wolf Cop, you know what you're getting. Yeah, it's it was awesome. <laughs> um, you, I totally agree with Frank. the The lizard people thing was just like whatever. You know, <laughs> if they wanted to include magic or something, okay, that's fine. But the the lizard people that was. Mm, that was it's a just been a cult, and it looked, right? Like it, just yeah. a cult would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, something, something like that. Um, I really like the way uh, the wolf looked. He reminded me of uh, Del Toro's Wolfman a lot, yep. like like the Lon Chaney style, Lon Chaney Junior style of werewolf. Um, he acted really well through it. The transformation, come on, that was awesome. That was really good. That was up there with um, Trick or Treat, the uh, the werewolf, the way they took their skin off and stuff. And and uh, what was that one from the eighties? Uh, American Werewolf in London. Of, no, no, no. Company of Wolves. What was Company the one we watched uh, with you, Ray? That was the blind guy. Um, oh, the, late phases. Late phases. There's oh, some great yeah, transformations that really in that good. too. Yeah, that was really yeah. good. Um, the bunny wolves. Oh like uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, let's see here. I what I I hadn't watched this since I bought it, so I didn't remember a lot. I forgot there was this whole cult thing, and there was like shapeshifters and all that kind of stuff. So this was like watching it again for the first time. Uh, that sex scene in the jail cell, I loved it. It was so 80s and cheesy. <laughs> so funny. All the candles and shit, hilarious. Like, the comedy <laughs> yeah. was great. The, um, the, uh, special effects were top-notch. If, if anything was digital in it, it was very well hidden. And, um, I, this is such a trivial scene, but when he shaved, and then oh, they yeah. did a close-up of it growing, right? Yeah, I don't know if that was digital or just like a reverse hair uh, hair pull, you know. Yeah, I think there were, that the was effect. a practical effect. I think. Yeah, somehow. it was awesome. It was a nice touch. Mm-hmm. It was a super nice touch. This movie did a lot of things right. I still haven't seen the sequel. Um, I Tina was a really good character. Uh, uh, his partner in crime. Um, Willie was real funny until he turned out to be a bad guy. Yeah, That's he awesome. comes back in the second one though, evidently somehow. Um, yeah, I, I saw know. I saw him I saw him in the in the on the box or something. And uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up with the dude screaming with no face. Hilarious! <laughs> he should be the next villain. Oh yeah, that'd be he's great. He's still alive. Just he's just called the Screaming Skull or something. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I gave this one an eight. It was, it's a super fun one. It's quick. You know, they're not wasting mm-hmm. a lot of time on a lot of story. It's pretty well laid out in front of you. Of yeah. what, uh, it's in the title. Wolf mm-hmm. Cop. And just come along for the ride. It's a, it's a wolf that wears <laughs> people cop uniforms as a big ass gun. Like, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Uh, this is the second time around with this for me too. The the first time I I, I must just not have been in the mood for this kind of movie because I really wasn't impressed with it the first time. This time, much better. Um, practical effects look good. The transformation looks good. Great kills and all that stuff right there. Those three things is like number one priority for a werewolf movie. If you can mm-hmm. nail those things and like story and all the uh, other stuff, just kind of if it's there, cool. If not, you still have the like the meat and potatoes. Um, it's bloody, gory, it's funny. I thought the shapeshifters was a nice touch. Uh, they 
didn't really look that great when they when they changed back. But then again, they're on the screen for like a second. So um, the one I don't know, I, I'm, John, you probably mentioned him. Uh, whatever the, the shapeshifter with the mustache, the one that rides around with him, Willie. He's hilarious. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those two together, like I, I could have just watched ninety minutes of of them cruising around together, just yeah. messing, sure, yeah. messing shit up. Yeah, um, yeah. He was yeah it's good. It's good. It's fun. It's a short, short, quick, easy watch. I give it a seven. I'll go. Um, I agree with all of you. Uh, I uh, I really like the the practical effects in in. Uh, werewolf movies especially the best i i can't stand the digital stuff in a werewolf movie it just takes you out of it i think especially uh nowadays where they're making them into giant wolves you know what i mean like yeah i don't like that i don't like that whole trend but this was great uh practical effects uh funny uh, like john said you know what you're getting right from the get-go um i i did kind of dig that it had its own mythology you know, like that's the, there's a million stories of werewolves and a lot of them start with a gypsy, you know, this one had a different take on it. I thought that was kind of cool. I, I was indifferent. I was like, okay, well, however they want to do it, it's fine. I guess I, I, I missed it. It said that the, the shapeshifters created werewolves. Yeah, they I create they just, them. I just thought they needed their blood to. Like, they they create them by a. Uh, it's like for immortality. They create them by yeah. taking someone and, uh, sacrificing another person oh yeah well yeah over yeah, yeah, them yeah, yeah. or yeah. something like yeah. they carve mm-hmm. the pentagram and yeah right but for me one of the funniest parts of this whole movie is when they find the sheriff's face in the stall and she's <laughs> like it kind of looks like you i was a couple good scenes there with like just like just the face they, yeah, <laughs> one fight on the windshield that was hilarious, and then oh yeah, absolutely as well. But yeah, all around good time. Um, I give this uh, eight out of ten. Dave, uh, yeah, uh, the like I don't know this this movie is mixing a, a ton of different uh things. I mean, you have a you have a tic- uh, prototypical werewolf movie which we like we understand the uh like the the uh, nature of the transformation this in this person who is like almost a uh like a like a dullard or a uh um <laughs> someone that is just, just just walking through life um again you you have booze you you got cops you got cops and booze and then you got cops booze hounds um i uh i i i i really love the um in in the fact that you had um two different cults i guess you had you had a uh satanic panic first of all with uh the uh the pentagram on his chest as he was shaving and then you had the the pig mask guys and then you had the reptilians at the end um it's it's just meshing a lot of different uh, uh, just different elements, um, and they made it funny, which is great. Yeah. And uh, I dig it. Um, I I do want to talk about the soundtrack though, because I'm not sure who did it, but it's this '80s throwback soundtrack that I really dug for some reason. I don't know. It just hit me. It it just like it, I believe uh, the the band is called Shooting Guns, and they did the yeah. whole the whole soundtrack. We oh, were listening to right. a little bit. Of it yeah. when we the started. love the love making music was spot. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was a nice little throwback. Mm. Um, and the again the transformation too, because like I I love um like I told John earlier the American Werewolf in London. Like the best part of that movie is the transformation. And they used what they had, and it looked it looked pretty damn good with with what they had. And um, I the I appreciate best. that, you know. Yeah, yeah. It it's always really... my number one pick when somebody says, "What's the best werewolf transformation?" Absolutely, yeah. Always like exactly that when yeah. when his when his arms pull out, and and but like this was nearly as comparable. Like I I felt like that was that was really well done. 
especially with such a small movie like this. Like, I'm glad they had the uh, resources to do so, and they chose to do that. Um, yeah, good stuff. Um, it was yeah. I don't think the budget was real big on this. No, no. I mean, this is this is a uh, yeah. This is uh, this is an independent film. I mean, mm-hmm. um, it was. But, I uh, saw at the end of the credits say it was uh, like indie goat. It was um. Yeah, it, it was some, some something like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. just yeah. think about yeah. how oh, easy it is. Even better. Think about how easy it would be to if you were good with silicone to just make some gnarly looking shit with some silicone because that's really all all the transformation is. Yep. is him, yeah. You know, pulling but off. But also the silicone. editing too. Awesome. You have to you have to edit those cuts like yeah. precisely to make it look fluid, and yeah. and that's what's so great about it. The great editing, uh, especially. Um, during that the love making scene or whatever you want to call it, um, <laughs> that that woman had a body double, so like, and I knew that beforehand. So it, I was looking for the seams, you know, and yeah. it was. I mean, yeah, it, it looked you would great. Never know. Like you I, would never I know. was pleasantly surprised by that because I was like, all right, we've seen like I've seen so many cop like like blank cop movies and like whatever whatever cop. And and this one just seemed like it had a little more heart to it. It it seemed mm. like it had a little more uh, love, like a, there was a, yeah, a little more love behind that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which makes sense if it was crowdfunded. That that makes so much sense to me. And it also helps when you have the the same writer, same the, the you know mm-hmm. the writers, same writer, same director. It's All it's one vision. guy's vision. You don't have a bunch of people pulling. Yeah, right. Whatever. Yeah, no one's pulling strings. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, in in like it it had so much weird shit too. I mean the the reptilians like I know I know that was such a weird thing, but it's it's still like almost fit like in the in the whole meth lab, like that was that was out of nowhere. I they mean, were it makes sense. Some... Oh, rednecks, they're rednecks. <laughs> yeah, right. It makes sense with the cop narrative. Like it, yeah, it would make it sense out. that we would he would be investigating something like that. But <laughs> yeah, I uh, I dug it. So what I'm uh, I'm assuming is that red shit that dude snorts that was werewolf blood, right? I thought so too. Okay, because uh, okay. I was yeah. like, they're making some weird drugs in this place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just that's assumed true. it was like the weirdest crystal meth I've ever like. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I mean, it was sparkling. <laughs> yeah, it was a like shatter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, but, the, and the fact that our protagonist was was an alcoholic, like I hmm. I like those weird scenes at the bar where he would she was shoving off, or the uh, the bartender Jessica, I think her name was, um, was like shoving off that drunk, and like just the weird, it, it, like just the exchange with them. Uh, I I just thought it was a good scene, uh, or at least at least certain good scenes. And then at the end, when it was like, I guess his superpower. Like, yeah. when he drinks like, yeah it's like his yeah, mom yeah yeah, yeah. yeah which, drunk in which masters, i was like what? what he even <laughs> had popeye sort of arms so it does kind of make sense <laughs> oh dude yeah, yeah he was like, he was <laughs> yeah. i was like well, I, that doesn't make sense i was i wish they would have showed him go from a wolf back to a dude like they don't ever show you that in any of these movies oh the like retraction yeah like, like that, think, yeah. just put it in reverse you know <laughs> oh, that'd be cool, yeah. i don't know how's well, it happen they just give him, they just give him like real quick i love that he referred to, to himself as the fuzz yeah. In that yeah. one fight that was hilarious there was some good yeah. one-liners yeah, um, the, th- um, the thing of uh, yeah. another thing, uh, the car when he like modifies it, and there's that whole montage. <laughs> the wolf mobile. It doesn't even really look that cool when he's done with it. I was like, what the fuck? That was a big montage <laughs> yeah. for just to turn the side, the lights sideways, <laughs> and cut a. W. Well, that was more of a drunken. Yeah. That was just like him, just like deciding that it, that he's gonna do something, and then it just it, like it's defunct, yeah. like. Uh, <laughs> It's like it's get, awesome. getting drunk and painting the house or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, I'm going to do this shit. Like, yeah. yeah. Which I thought was good. I mean, it's a good character trait for something that, like, for that for that werewolf archetype. Because it's usually it's usually a person that is, that is again, a, a dullard. Someone that, that just walks through life and um, comes comes to himself. I mean, it's it's like a myth. You know, it's uh, it, it, it makes sense. 
Did you give it a rating, Dave? Um, I'm going to give this one, I don't know, I've rated a lot of our stuff too high, I think, in the past. <laughs> What? He's starting to not like it anymore. He talks about no, it. He's no, like, I don't I, fucking like I that anymore. It. You know, now I think it, about like, it. Right. Like, I'm, looking, I'm looking at our, the breadth of the So I've enjoyed it, but I'm going to give it a four. <laughs> it's yeah, a two. No, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. All right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, if you look at the movies we've done on the club episodes, they're bangers every time. Yeah, they are bangers. So, yeah. But Yeah, I just don't want to I, I, I don't want to over overstate myself. Yeah, uh, I think that's a fair score for Wolf Cop. Uh, maybe we'll get into another Wolf Cop uh, sometime soon. Um, if you find it for five bucks, I say buy it, or under ten bucks, I say buy this movie on physical media. Yeah, I'll probably have it. to. I'll probably have to. I wish they had a double set or something like seventeen ninety nine on Amazon. Ooh, that's a little really? pricey. That's a little Whoa. pricey. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Holy and God. for those bonus features, though, I bet there's that. some good commentaries on there. Huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> there anyways. isn't much on it that I recall. There isn't much on it. It's time to return oh. to the adventure. Uh, the horror of Moss Grove. <laughs> a little recap. Uh, the last time that uh, we did this, you guys killed a living piece of taxidermy. Um, oh. And... I'll go through the stats here. Uh, Jason has a sledgehammer and a leg wound um, that's healing. He has, I believe he has it wrapped. 97 hit points. Uh, Ray has a flashlight, camping knife, matches. Uh, he, I guess he's carrying around a tackle box. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and uh, he's got a, a beer with him. 97 hit points. John has a flashlight, a hatchet, a lighter, a uh, eight quarters uh and one warm beer 99 hit points dave has a broken empty beer bottle of course a shotgun shotgun you might have discarded that i don't know yeah it seems like you would if you got the shotgun the shotgun shells around now dynamite um i believe you have gasoline a backpack Okay. And your uh, your ass is still burned up from those toads that you set on. Um, Doesn't feel too good, <laughs> I'll tell you that. 80, 80 hit points. Uh, you're standing in this odd taxidermy-ridden workshop around this fox chicken abomination that you've disposed of. Uh, before your hearts stop racing, you hear a woman scream from downstairs. She sounds hysterical, but you can't make out what she's saying. You still haven't checked out the room across the hall, but whoever this person is seems to be losing her mind in terror. What would you like to do? Who, who's going? Who's yeah, we split up. Didn't, didn't we split you guys, up you guys split up, yeah. and then you rejoined back in the upstairs room where that chicken. Uh, and now someone's fox. screaming downstairs. Yes. Yes. John, so. you take the lead. Oh shit! You can All talk right. it over. You can talk it over. What, what do you guys want to do as a group? Honestly, uh, there, I I kind of want to see. Me. I, yeah, I kind of want to at least check out the room across from us. That so we're gonna send Ray we'll down to investigate. <laughs> there we go. And it could because like I feel like if we go down, someone's waiting in that room. I want to confirm there's no one in that room that's uh, gonna come get us as soon as right. we storm out towards the screen. No, I'll go through the rooms again so you know what what's going on. Maybe you want to check some stuff out before you move downstairs. The room you're in now uh, has all sorts of taxidermy around you. Um, some really good and some really bad. Some seems unnatural. Um, you notice crafting totes and various boxes stacked on under and around a writing desk. Bad velvet paintings hang crooked on the filthy walls. Um, that's this room. And you previously opened up a door across the hall that was completely empty with a pentagram painted on it with blood on the floor. Candles are lit at the five points of the star, and there was something shimmering in the center of that. And then the leave? the other room, you, <laughs> there, you haven't been. What are we doing? Well, are we, are we still trying to find a friend, right? Yeah, your uh, your we friend need to Molly get out, is out of this house. house. Yeah, get out of this house. We have not saved Molly at all in this scenario. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, what about uh, since we're in the room, John, and you're leading? There's shit to look in, right? He said there's boxes and stuff. Should yeah, 
Yeah, there's, yeah, we can we can look in the boxes. Uh, there there should be some at least some blades around. Maybe right, something to use. Something for you need, um, you need knives for taxidermy. Um, there, um, there's a box of knives and uh, below the desk, <laughs> razor knives yeah. and box cutters. You also find a case of what appears to be moonshine and mason jars, and two Ooh. more sticks of dynamite. So I don't know if you want, I don't know if you want to take any of that stuff, or or what. I take it. All of it? <laughs> you want to lug yeah, around a case I'll... of mason jars? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's right. I was like, I was, I'm thinking video game logic. I'm just yeah, putting right. everything in my pocket. Take it all. Yeah. Ray's oh, already wow. toting around a. I mean, think of Dave. He's got so much shit. I know. That's yeah. right. I'm, I'm, he's about to just be our pack mule. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Dave, take these, make these Molotovs, and then. I got the you. gear, baby. <laughs> yeah, and, and remember, the, the this is below a desk, so there's drawers and there's also totes around the area. So, um, I'll, I'll put the dynamite. Yeah, I'll d- definitely take the dynamite. John takes the dynamite. <laughs> Let me write that down for you. Um, <laughs> and you probably do you want the box cutters or at all? They're just little. Yeah, metal. give it to who doesn't? Who's who's got the least weapon? I think everybody's got a better weapon than a box Every- cutter. Like Ray's got a hunting knife or a camping knife or something. Uh, Dave's got a shotgun. Jason's got a sledgehammer. You've got a hatchet. So, I mean, I'll, I'll keep it on me then for emergencies. That's a, sure it can fit in my pocket or my belt. All right. Anything else you want to do in this room or are you moving on? What do you think, guys? You want to check the, should we check the drawers too? Yeah, I would. All right. Let's just, can't we just say check everything? No, because if you, if you, because that would, that would be no, that would just be once again telling stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this would be an element of like they might not find the thing that's in this room, um, okay. like this. Right. If you hadn't checked the desk thing. drawers, if you hadn't checked the desk drawers, you wouldn't have found this. Well, uh, several, I think we should also check the totes. That's a good idea. Let's let's start with the the drawers. You find detailed drawings of some sort of crying ghost wading oh. through a lake surrounded by fireflies that are old charcoal drawings that must have taken hours to complete very detailed depiction of some mysterious female apparition That's which a- is screaming downstairs currently mm-hmm. probably she doesn't like fireflies are there fireflies in the totes uh no the totes <laughs> just have a bunch of old uh, bad taxidermy in them <laughs> It's not. It's just stuff that needs to go. I say we. I say we move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's let's find our friend. We're up here messing around with dead animals. (laughs) Are you going downstairs right away? Are you checking out one of the other rooms up here? We got one room left. Do you want to check it? Yeah. Might as well do it. Uh, This room is filled with old IDs, driver's license, glasses, shoes, hats, all kinds of clothing, suitcases. Uh. All this stuff you assume was plundered from victims. Um, The room smells terrible. You step on maggots when you enter the room. Um, I'm going to have you roll a perception check. Real quick. Okay. Never mind. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Is Is there anything you want to do in here? Are there any nice scarves? Uh, do you want to look through the pile of clothes and stuff, Ray? Right? I'm good. Any vintage rock shirts? Yeah. <laughs> Some cool no. concert t-shirts? I, I, yeah. You rolled for perception, so I feel like there's something in there we should look for, though. Oh. And so that was kind of ties? Hit. Yeah. So I feel like there's... Yeah. It's, like a big pile, it's like a big pile in the middle of the room, and then there's just pa- pasted in the walls IDs and all kinds of paperwork and news articles and stuff read the news articles all of them <laughs> all <Yeah>. of them <laughs> um, most of the news articles do involve um, the lake and sightings of strange ghosts and weird things happening around this area just unusual cryptid type things um, yeah okay. that's basically it as far as that, I mean, licenses, 
you don't recognize anybody. All right. I don't know what else to do in this room. It's weird. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, uh, unless you're digging through the clothes, that's yeah. that's all you can do. There seems like if I dig through the clothes, a monster. Yeah. Oh, that's strange. in the clothes. Yeah. Strange that you say that. Uh, you notice... <laughs> You notice that there's a pair of shoes on top of the pile that appear to be the same pair Molly was wearing early. Uh-oh. Oh. So. oh. Well, there's that. we got to check them, right, Jason? Check them. You do, you do, you do, you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, there's some blood splatter on them. Are we taking turns? Who's t- what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't you're all in the room. You're, you're, you're just saying yeah. stuff. So you're, you're like, okay. I mean... <laughs> You know, <laughs> Jason's like, okay, is that Molly? <laughs> Are we done with this? <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> Did we find her? Yay! <laughs> no, she's not there. Just her we, shoes. We, we win. Yeah. The woman's still screaming downstairs. Um, <laughs> Good. Okay, we gotta go check that out. Is that what, what you're does doing? it sound like? Does it sound like a ghostly scream, or does it sound like a? Human? It sounds like a woman who's. Very Getting upset about something. All right. Probably the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we killed her. We killed her weird family. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say we killed their family. There's three bodies. She might be there. angry about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, hey, we need to go kill her. Out. No witnesses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get her. The apparition. Oh my god. Can't kill a ghost with a shotgun. Yeah. Clockwork Funny. Orange meets Monster Squad. Oh so you're God. going downstairs then? You're yeah. Going yeah. Down. Running downstairs. Uh, uh, you see a pale woman covered in bruises, scabs, and blood. Her eyes sunken with exhaustion, wearing a tattered wedding dress. She is screaming unintelligible nonsense and shaking the body of the little boy you encountered earlier. Upon seeing your party, she immediately runs to the kitchen. Uh, what do you do? You going to follow her? You going to leave? Run you going to run away? Run out the front door, guys. What Ready weapons, say? just in case. <laughs> Draw uh, weapons. Just no, in case. we follow her. You following her in the kitchen? Yeah. No, I thought yeah. we were running away. <laughs> you better no, figure it out. Let's get after it. <laughs> like, I, I thought we were running we're back here. out to find Molly. She ghouls out on us. We got her. Or we got to kill we her. got a Jason, shotgun so. and an axe and hatchet. Get her. Sledges. We got All right. Her. Hey, shotgun Let's guy, go. You go first. Yeah, you take the lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As All you right. enter, uh, as you enter the kitchen, the woman who is now mumbling to herself at a fever pitch is standing at the bookshelf. She quickly scans the spines of the books and pulls a book labeled Cutlery 101. And pull, and a panel opens up when she pulls it above the stove, revealing an assortment of oversized rusted butcher knives, cleavers, and bone saws of all sorts. She sure. grabs, <laughs> she grabs the largest knife in the arsenal and runs straight at your party, gnashing her gnarled maw in hatred. Shoot her. I'm gonna roll for initiative here and see who will go first. I want to seduce her. <laughs> You're gonna seduce <laughs> her. Okay. All right. Listen. Yeah. Stop her right in her track. She won't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> She's not stacking books or anything. Like I know I told you too. Like, oh, I baby, prov- I like um, that torn dress. I can provide you with a new one. It looks like Ray is going to go first on this. So Why? I don't have a fucking shotgun. Why would I go? <laughs> it's an apparition. Knives against knives? Sorry. Right. No, she's got, ghosts don't use knives. She's you know what he said? Ass. She's a ghost. You guys are just yes, assuming no, this okay. shit. Oh, she's she's, she's shaking the kid. Yeah, she's, she's the, mo- yeah, she's the mama of the right, toothless kid. Out. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Ray's turn first. So. All right. <laughs> Hit me with it. What do I do? <laughs> you better I'm figure it out. Oh, I stab her with the knife. I grab her knife <laughs> and I stab her with mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that didn't happen. Um, what do you mean it didn't happen? <laughs> I, I mean, I mean first of all, her knife's <laughs> bigger than yours. So, so I what? Said it happened. <laughs> so, and also the dice are rolling, sir. I'm not fucking with you here. <laughs> but she, uh, she cuts you on the arm. For, oh, eight, okay. for 18 hit points. Oh. oh. <laughs> so my arm's like gone now? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, no, it's not that big of a knife. Oh, okay. But, yeah. <laughs> you got a gash on your arm. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got a clip, bro. Jason's yeah. next in the order. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Don't try your knife. <laughs> I, got a, I got a sledgehammer. There you go. Good luck. Don't say things like you can block it because you can't. <laughs> so she, she just sliced Ray wipe. up, right? Yeah, he's got 79 yeah. hit points now. You could, like, hit him with a cross. Yeah, I, I try to uh, I turn my sledgehammer sideways and try to pin it up against the wall. Oh, you have yeah. succeeded. And then I could do this. <laughs> She can't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, she can't move at all. Look at this ghost. Yeah. You paralyzed. You've got the paralyzed. This you've poor the, woman. The, you've got the handle so of your uh, <laughs> of your axe or your your hammer against her throat, and her arms are pinned back, so she just can't so do anything. Clear. Okay. Just so I'm and clear, I can't. I can't hold her. I can't grab the, the knife on top. <laughs> And stab her with my knife. But you Jason could if you roll that way, Ray. And push her. <laughs> You've played RPGs before, right, Ray? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you missed with the sledgehammer last time, remember? It was a mess. You missed like twice. <laughs> okay, so she's pinned up against the wall. It is John's turn. Are you going to seduce her? No, I'm not going to seduce her. Yeah, no, do it. Do it, John. No, I'm not going to. Calm down, oh. baby. Ain't nothing down, wrong. Ain't yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to go. Next to you. <laughs> the nah, first, I'm not gonna the first no, woman we'll take that comes across our. <laughs> did we disarm? Did we disarm her? No. Uh, yeah, did she's we... disarmed. Jason oh, disarmed. Right. Her, the, the knife fell out of her hand when because her arms uh. are like the, like pinned against the wall. The, it's across here. You know, like, like this. Oh, no. <laughs> this is awful. Ask her. Ask her what her problem is. Uh, she screams. Like, she screams. Going on? You killed my family. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I pull my hatchet and hit her in the head to complete the set. Oh boy. No, not really. Wow. Don't do that. Don't but, do that. Mean, we're gonna. We're gonna have to. Are you gonna yeah. hit her, John? Did you hit her? She cut. She <laughs> cut my arm, John. Kill that bitch. Done. <laughs> oh, oh, I. Asked her <laughs> we're completing this set. I hope their burial plot. Okay, out. now you did hit her really good, but she's yeah. not dead yet. She's, you're. I mean, she's in a lot of pain, for sure. <laughs> she's <laughs> screaming. Why are you doing now this? I <laughs> 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 she's a tough old bird. This one. She said, <laughs> "You knocked over half of her, her hit points away, though. So I oh, mean, okay. is it, your hatch is still stuck in her head, so you might want to." Yeah. <laughs> What's How that? I do, sir. <laughs> right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with that. Okay, it's Dave's <laughs> turn to um, to do something here. Okay, so I uh, I take out my shotgun, put it against her temple, and uh, ask, ask her ask her what she what she's and up now to. Now we're asking questions. <laughs> You're asking her what she's up yeah. to. <laughs> no, I want to ask her ask her Twitter. Hang it out. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I, uh, all right. So, I, I like, uh. <laughs> I put it up to her temple and I go, What's your Twitter handle? What's your Twitter handle? <laughs> There's yeah. a knife coming out of your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, well, if she's almost done, I might as well, like, if she's in a lot of pain, I might as well put her out of her misery. That's a good. I'm like, Good yeah. name. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be Doctor uh, Doctor Kvorkin and just. Are you gonna shoot her or what? <laughs> yeah, doing? yeah. Just right in the. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I might as well. Her. Yeah. All right. Hit her with the butt of the gun on the on the axe. On the axe. Oh, oh I can do there that. you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So Roll if I pistol whip and cut her, her in half. Just, that way it saves your bullets. Have a decent chance that she's gonna she's gonna get off. Well, I don't. Jason's wanna... got her pinned pretty well, and she's got a hatchet in her head. I don't think. I mean, it's yeah, still right, in there, right, John. You right, might want to yeah, retrieve just, that before. I will. I'm just <laughs> gonna, I plan on it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna kick her out then. Yeah, she's done. Okay. All right. Well, she's dead now. So what's up now, guys? <laughs> <laughs> You've killed I, the whole I family. I retrieved my hatchet. Uh, very good. I yeah. retrieved my hatchet. Very and good. then. Now remember, you're in this kitchen. There's you still. She opened up that panel, so there are bigger knives there. Nice. Um, and bone saws and stuff. There's the back door, and then there's the front door. So whichever way you want to do things. We gotta get out of this place. Yeah. Is there I a towel? Wanna... 
we need to restock <laughs> our oh, yeah, yeah. Like wrap around my bleeding arm. Yeah, doesn't anyone have like a health kit? Or yeah, I gotta clean my gun. Let's see. No, oh, come on. <laughs> no, we need to help Ray. Do we, does anyone have any cloth and alcohol? No. No? <laughs> there's nobody, nobody has anything like that. Oh my god, is there any, there's none in the kitchen. We no, you stuff. already checked it out. There's That's a bookshelf fine. with books. You want to tear That's some fine. pages out? And yeah, I'll be Randy, fine. Randy takes off his shirt and makes a tourniquet. Yes. He's uh, good. And now my shirt's off. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you're in the kitchen. But yeah, with... let's, let's grab some knives and get the fuck out of there. Let's grab yeah. the biggest ones we can find. Please, let's get outside. <laughs> yeah, let's get out. Let's get out and terrorize the next family. <laughs> can I can I use my fresh gun barrel to uh, solderize his wound? You mean like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like? After... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like honestly, John's got to pick lighter. He could he could just burn it, it. Burn, him. Yeah, yeah. burn him. You want me to cook your arm, Ray? I mean, I'll do it. he might die. He, he, we don't want him to bleed yeah, out. Is it gushing? Yeah. Did he hit an artery? Am I? Yeah, am I good? Friend? No, I, he, he's all right. I mean, oh, all right, we're good. <laughs> all right, I only hit him by eighteen. I mean, it was it was like a. It was one of those things where I, I tried to you know save the day and uh, got fucking my arm cut. You know. <laughs> yeah, let's let's, let's it grab happens. the biggest knives we can get yeah. and found. Right. Okay. Let's get out of your front door. Front door. <laughs> right, guys. Front door, or do we want to go further back into the woods? Oh, uh, let's get out of here. Front well, you don't know what's on the backyard. Yeah, fine, but you friend. know, we did find Molly's shoes. That's true. So we let's might keep have going the way back. we have been going. So you're going out the front door or the back door? You back to the van? Whichever door, but whatever the path we're on, before we stop at this house, let's keep going that way. Oh, you want to go back out the front door and <laughs> continue to the woods? Right. Yes. All right. Or you can go back. You can go. Terror. You, you yes. can go out the back door. You can go out the front door and go towards the woods, or go out the front door and go to back towards your camp and then to the lake. Either way, there's a bunch of options. We're going to the woods. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Whoop. Let me see. Find the portion on that. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm starting to feel really bad about killing all those people. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, at first, yeah, but then, you know, the bloodlust takes over. And you're just, uh, I, <laughs> I honestly, I don't think they did anything wrong. I think they're they were just, just like very good butchers and uh, probably there was some uh, weird stuff yeah, in the house. All, yeah, yeah, pale yeah, 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 yeah. They were just eclectic uh, Portlanders. They had Molly's oh shoes too, so yeah, yeah Molly's shoes, bloody shoes. I don't think so. <laughs> they could have found him that little rabbit kid. He was probably out yeah. in the trash. Mm. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> just okay. trash people. Yeah. Well, uh, you guys go back to your original path. You were following the blood trail into the woods. Um, yes. As you approach the woods, you hear what sounds like um, a dog. Or, or several dogs, and uh, you don't see anything. Okay. They uh, sound like they're in the woods, so they could be anywhere. Do you want to continue on? Yep. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, He's getting the dogs. <laughs> yeah, we got Dave shotgun. <laughs> yeah, fuck them dogs. Big knives. <laughs> big knives. Can I pet dogs? Dogs love me. <laughs> All right, we'll send Ray out. We can train the dogs. Yeah, yeah. You uh, you head down the path for a while, for a while, and you don't see anything. Uh, you still hear the sounds in the distance, uh, and then all, out of nowhere, two what appear to be uh, like Doberman Pinschers, uh, but they're blind. They don't have the, their eyes have been torn out, so um, they are angry oh, and growling God. and in your way. So. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And the roll goes to Dave. Anyone got a dog bone? Or like, uh, you know, a nice little tennis ball for these guys? No? No? No. 
How about dynamite? <laughs> that might be a good one. I'm not gonna waste the dynamite on this dog. I, I don't want to kill dogs. Oh, really yeah. They're eyeless. They're eyeless and growling at us. Are not they ill-tempered? It seems that way. Okay, they're, <laughs> listen, they're in desperation mode now. You don't really run across a lot of pleasant. Uh, I, I would much rather dogs. kill an entire family of five than uh, than a than a than a dogson. We're all in this together. This is a, a do beagle. this is a Doberman pincher. And, and I, okay. I think he called right. you a bitch, dude. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, all right. Well, how many shells do I have? You have six. Oh. All right. Hey. Well. Well then. Um. How many dogs are there? Two. So three in each. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need three. I don't think I'd need three either. <laughs> Unless I was a bad shot, which would be my role, right? Yeah, let's not stormtrooper this up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you What do you guys yeah. think? What do you guys think? I got a sledgehammer. I'll swing on one. Yeah. They're not friendly. If you injure not them, friendly. yeah. If you injure them, we'll be able to take them out. So. That's true. I mean, okay. Uh, I, let me. I can't me... hit both of them though. Yeah, I, I would use the shotgun on the dogs only because they called me a bitch. <laughs> well, you, you, uh, you did exceptional. Um, <laughs> yeah. You nice. blew both their heads off. Oh, wow. No oh, problem. Wow. That's... Excellent roll, I would say. Uh, that's Very nice. good. Okay. Still have I don't feel good shows, about it. Right? Yeah. I feel better about killing that family, but not the dogs. What if they <laughs> were that fine, family's though. dogs, you know? Yeah, um, okay. They <clears throat> definitely we... really deserve to die because they ripped <laughs> do, their dog's eyes out. Do we inspect yeah, the, yeah. the carcasses? Are they holding anything? Or... I can only assume those dogs were Nazis. So. <laughs> uh, no, they there's, have, not, there's nothing on the dogs, anything. right? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, so you're going through this forest and you find Molly's body uh, ripped to shreds and draped across the branches of a downed tree. Uh, you turn around and are faced with a giant hum <laughs> I can't say this word humunculus look humunculus looking creature yeah. that looks to be part amphibian and part hellspawn its mouth is a pit of vicious razors encircled by some sort of tentacle appendages that drip with slime and blood seemingly with the body of a walrus oh wow oh oh okay All right. So, right. friend's dead, and this is what killed her. And, uh, Dynamite. <laughs> is that what we're doing? Dynamite? Might as well. Let me roll over what you guys have. Um, so you can... I know we got two sticks of dynamite. You got more than that. Um, you've got... <laughs> you, John has two sticks of dynamite. Dave has two sticks of dynamite and gasoline. Um, you have a Bic lighter... Um, hatchet, you know, the regular stuff. Ray has matches. Um, I don't know. What are you going to do? You got four sticks of dynamite. Is this still me? We got, we got gas uh, and, we got gas and a lighter. No, I didn't, so I didn't, like, I didn't roll an initiative. We should burn that guy. Is this still my turn? Uh, then, no. <laughs> I, um, oh, okay. It's Ray's turn. All right, Ray. Well, who's going to give me the gas? I, I can <laughs> give you the gas, dude. I'll take the gasoline and uh, the, I'll pour it all over that bastard and light him up with my matches. Wait. Okay. That gas. You, you poured uh, a little bit on it. I'm going to say you got about half a gallon on it. And then he knocks you back with his tentacle thing, hitting you by 17. Okay. Yeah. So Ray's then, gonna die. So then it's John. Yeah. All right. John, light that bastard up with dynamite. Yeah, uh, yeah. If he only got a little bit on there, I'm not gonna waste my lighter. So I'm gonna use my lighter to light some dynamite and Kobe right into his mouth. <laughs> hey, ah, oh, motherfucker! <laughs> All right. You uh, succeed. 
blow half of its face off. <clears throat> you hit him by 50. Um, but he's still got quite a bit left. He's he's a he's a big boy. He's a big boy. All right. Okay, uh, Jason. Oh, I have the sledgehammer, right? Yep. Yeah. Hammer time. Okay. I Let's approach see. you, and I hit it. And you do, and it hits him by twenty-five. Nice. Hey, good hit. Still, he's still going though. Yeah. Um, he's gonna actually do his own little attack here. Uh, yeah. Let's see who he hits. Oh, looks like it's Dave. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> uh, he bite, He uh, uh, let's see, let's see, he bites you on your leg. Oh, you know, that's a that's a that's a place. He doesn't do too much damage, but you are definitely injured. It's gonna affect right. your mobility and your rolls. That'd be a good time for that shotgun. Time. <laughs> I'm low. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna use that shotgun. Okay. Yeah. You should have like four shots Got to. left. Yeah. Got to. Yeah. Aim for the head. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that deity. <laughs> you uh, you hit him by 19. Uh, he's still coming, coming at you. He's about halfway dead at this point. Halfway, oh, wow. halfway. It's the, it's the boss. It's the yeah. boss, dude. This is like the end of the run. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's Dave, or no, All Dave. Right. Not no. It's Ray. Dave just shot, right? It's Ray. <clears throat> I run at him and jump up into the air with my knife and bring it down on the other side of his head. There you go. Okay, you do that, Ray, but <laughs> it only hits him by five, and he hits you by 11 and knocks you to the ground. It You're really matter. going at him hard. Um, yeah. Yeah. What, I, what, love, so, I loved Molly, okay? Where is Ray like, at? Like, where Ray's is got 51, Ray's health? 51 hit points out of 100. So he's, okay, so he's halfway dead. Yeah. yeah. How big is my knife? Uh, How you, big of a knife did I grab? Well, it's... It's probably the size of your forearm or so. It's like an oversized knife, like something Guar would use or something. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it is it strong? Is does it is it stronger than my hatchet? It's kind of rusted. I'd say not. Oh, okay. No. Okay. But, okay. Let's light him up. Dynamite it up, Toby. Dynamite. <laughs> okay. All right. You using one stick or two? Oh, let's double it. Double it up. Do it. Yep. Okay. Trick style. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Fuck that gross, that gross bastard. You Raise hit it out. by, uh, you hit it by seventy-five. Yeah. He's uh barely hanging on. He's gonna try to sl swing a tentacle out, and he misses. Nice. He misses. Dave He's very weak. Very weak at this point. Hit him in the dick. <laughs> it, is <Jay> <laughs> it, is, it is Jason's turn. <laughs> Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer time. Yep. Right on his pathetic face. Yeah. Or in his pathetic dick. That dead. should take him out. That did it. Uh, that's the boss there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, I, 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 now I can explain to you all this stuff to link it all together. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> the family, <laughs> the family in this instance, um, were a cult. And Something if you would have looked around in the house, like in the books in the kitchen, there was a book that described their religion, sort of. And this creature is something they pray to that comes out of the lake. And mm. um, I, there was a lot of weird stuff. They have to like, sacrifice I, for it. Like if you guys would have went into that one, it gotta room, make it easier to find. That's the fun. You guys found the end. Shoot. But if you would have went in that room with the pentagram and picked that thing up in the middle, it was a, it was Molly's ah. necklace, and it would have sent you into a thing that I called. Let's see, what did I call it? The grave realm, which would have been a lot of fun. There was a lot of fun shit going on. We there. suck. We like, just wanted to <laughs> yeah. rape. And no, we were we were. <laughs> we can save it for later. Yeah, <laughs> we were practical. 
Well, no, this th- we'll have a whole different story next time. I we mean, need to be more Scooby Doo and less. <laughs> less killers and murderers. Murderers, serial killers. I don't think you would have. You would have had to. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you, you would have had to still kill <laughs> everything. I think um, all those people because they were going to try to kill you. Oh yeah. Um, Told yeah, you. I had a. I had a lot of stuff, man. I think if John would have had thirty minutes with that lady, he could have convinced. Yeah. You. There was a whole um, like if you guys would have went towards if you guys would have went towards the lake, <clears throat> I had a, a a moss man who was non aggressive that would have uh, tried to help Helped you. I had a, the ghost picture was a ghost that you would have met. Uh, there was a whole labyrinth I had set up that you would have ended up in. That, ah, you know, oh. There was a lot of stuff. Wow. But, you know I didn't build it out too much because I didn't know which direction you were going to go. So. Um, <laughs> next, next time we'll, uh, we'll do some different stuff though um, Jason do you have trivia this time yep oh. uh, I couldn't really I didn't really have anything to uh, that was related to this movie so yeah uh, we're just going to do who directed okay so we'll see if you guys know any directors it's multiple choice or we have to pull it out of our ass nope it's first correct answer okay this ought to be interesting i know like three (laughs) they're kind of of common ones all right first one who directed cabin fever eli roth eli roth Roth. Roth. that's john oh who directed creature from the black lagoon oh god Mm. jack arnold Mm. Jack Arnold, that old white man. <laughs> Who directed <laughs> old reanimator? Stuart Gordon. Stuart Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <on. laughs> yeah. You know, here's here's a movie that I like. I need to revisit again. I, I forgot all about it. Who directed All the Boys Love Mandy Lane? Hmm. Lucky Never McGee. Seen it. McGee. <laughs> <laughs> McGee. McGee. Jonathan <laughs> Levine. Hmm. Oh, okay. I've never seen that. That was a cool movie. It was really yeah, I, good. Uh, yeah, I liked it. She is stone cold. I feel like that's how she is in real life. She's stone cold. Who <laughs> directed The Ruins? Alfonso Cuaron? Alfonso Ribeiro. Carter uh, no. Smith. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, <laughs> Alan Smithy. Yeah. Who directed <laughs> The Village? M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night. Um, M. Night. I got all the word letters mixed around in my head. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Mamalan. Who directed <laughs> Mamalan? M- Cop. William Lustig. That's correct. Damn. Good job, John. Damn. <laughs> Who directed Monster Squad? Fred Decker. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Yeah. Look at the big brain on John. <laughs> you're, 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 yeah. you're, getting, you're in my wheelhouse right now. Who directed Ghost of Mars? John Carpenter. Oh, I almost got that one. Shit. Man, I, I, I got to give John and Ray both a point. I think that was the exact same time. Uh, okay, last last one. Worth 200 points. All right. <laughs> Who directed Ghoulies? John, oh, you don't Joe know. Joe Carnahan. Um, um, no. John. Um, um, hold on. <laughs> Shut up. Joe Get Man. there. Is it Charles Band? Richard Band? Uh-uh. Uh, Contra Band? <laughs> uh, I, 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 know, I don't know. It's uh, Luca Bercovici. Uh, Bercovici. Uh, well, that's, probably, that's from know. when you know, Empire was over in, in Italy. Well, uh, John dominated that round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, well, what, what, we don't get another 200-point one? No, no. the trivia it. always ends <laughs> with a ridiculous amount that just wins it all. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't get it. Nobody got it. That is That's true. true. But, no, but John, whatever the setting <laughs> score is, <Almost laughs> all the other, the other I know. <laughs> but, but, I, mean, I, I didn't I score, but John clearly won. Let's do <laughs> one more, and, and then maybe I can win. He's out that of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Jason, come up with one out of your head. Yeah. <laughs> now. You lost. That's it. I'm putting in all – I'm getting my lawyers on the phone. Who directed <laughs> National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? 
Oh, God. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I want to say that is... Who's the really fucking... Have no idea. Chris Columbus. Not... No, is it Harold Ramis? Maybe. I know. <laughs> well, now I have to find it. <laughs> Someone yeah. else. Uh, oh God, the Definitely tension. Not Harold Ramis, but it could. Be. It could be Chris Columbus. No, he did home run. <laughs> oh yeah, Bob Clark. Oh no, he did uh, Christmas Story. <laughs> Oh, Jeremiah okay. Jeremiah S. Chechik. Oh, that guy. <laughs> you say Chris, wow. you say, <laughs> did you say Christmas Vacation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want to see it, they're playing it in uh, in theaters now. You can go get some some virus on you and get... Yeah. COVID. <laughs> go get some of that popcorn. Yeah, get yourself some popcorn and some COVID. That'd yeah. be great. Some COVID share the popcorn Did with you your friends. Oh, my God. Share the, Dish share it the out. giant drink. <laughs> yeah. Pass it down the row. It, it doesn't matter out. how much shit you get. It's going to be gone before the previews are over anyways. God, I remember a, like a sad the fucker. last time I went to the movies, this lady that went with us bought a bunch of popcorn and she was pouring it out of hers on people's laps. Mm-hmm. This was before the disease, obviously. Obviously. You imagine that now? I, when I go back to the movies ever someday, I'm, I'm going to stop all that shit. I'm going to be like, what are you, stupid? Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Farthest away I can from people. Yeah. <laughs> don't touch me. No, I don't want to drink from your fucking straw. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, are we into the show and tell segment? Does everybody have something? I don't have anything this time, guys. Nobody has something. I got my wife. That's all I got. Yeah. There you go. Ray's here. It's Ray. It's the show and tell. That's it. So, uh, Jason, Jason, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go. Uh, So, me me and my wife, we started getting each other something for Halloween. So, this is what she got me this year. Oh, dope. Oh, nice. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, I got to ask, are you going to take it out of the package and play with it? Because. No. How do you play with that? Uh, they just stand do, 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 do. But that, yeah. uh, <laughs> as far as I know, that, that <laughs> completes that completes all the shining pop that I know of. That's pretty nice. cool. I wish I had a wife. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <bro. laughs> so your show and tell should have been just bring Anna yeah. and be like, eh? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> your, Christmas tree, your Christmas tree looks nice. Thanks, man. That's yeah. what I did when I was bored in quarantine. So. <laughs> He handcrafted it. Beautiful. Thank you. I'll go. Uh, I'll go next. I got. I got some Nintendo games here that uh, uh, right. are horror related. Uh, this is Abadox. Abodox. Oh, I remember that game. Uh, I think you're inside of a body or something. If you like, like this was one of the first games I saw gore in. I remember, and it's mm-hmm. like you're inside of a body, but it's a side-scrolling shooter. So if you like those two things, it's kind of like Life Force. If you've ever played that. Yeah. And, cool. Then I've got this, Fester's Quest. Oh, man, I have spent many <laughs> hours trying to figure out the fuck to do no in that idea. game. Still don't know, man. <laughs> Still don't know. Still don't know. And then, last but not least, I want to showcase this little gem that I'm going to pull out soon and rewatch. Redneck, Redneck zombie. Zombies End. My- it's got the soundtrack cd in it too oh. so it's a, you know i can rock and roll all day long with this baby <laughs> quick side story when i first met frank years ago uh we were talking about you know horror films and he's like have you ever seen redneck zombies and i said <laughs> it's like my never, theme never even heard of it and he he put it on a it was like a vhs uh, that he had recorded it off of another VHS. Oh yeah, I was, oh, yeah. I was, I was getting freak nasty with two VCRs. <laughs> <laughs> and it was by far the worst movie I'd seen at that time. Still is. <laughs> Still is. There's a whole like 10 to 15 minute long scene where the guy's tripping and he's digging stuff out of a body. Oh, what's this? Uh, it's, just, it's it's a teenage classic. Like I rented that shit so many fucking times and I know it's not good, but it's still like, it's like comfort food. It's, somehow. it's absolutely horrible, yeah. but somehow I've seen it like two or three times. Right. Oh, two, <laughs> yeah, two or three. Yeah. Man. I I know lines from it and shit. The 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 one dude who's like drinking through the whole uh, thing, he's just like he, he like drinks. One. Oh yeah, Terror Tunes horrible. Is my but shit somehow too. I've seen it two or three times. 
Frank, what was the other one? What was the other one that that guy did? Uh, where it was in Australia, and the, and the guy had the trench coat, and he kept shooting guns up out of his arms. Do you remember? Um, Zombie flick, Australian. Oh, he had like undead. unlimited guns. Undead, yeah. That's oh yeah. He has that's like a good movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's he punches a fish. At one yeah, point. <laughs> that's that's <a> good <laughs> that was um, another one he had me watch. Yeah, I like that one. I'm good at making people watch bad things. Uh, <laughs> uh, John, I like trash have? too. Did you have any? <laughs> did you have something, John? Yeah, I got some. Um, my latest action figure ah, set. Nice. Oh no, shit! Yeah, oh, man, that's really cool. It comes with. Uh, the messed up That's head so of each, each mask. Oh, man. Yes. And no, I'm not taking this out of the fucking package. I would. Yeah. I'd have them right <laughs> on my shelf, man. And then this is, this is I, actually of the too, packaging. Though. This is my favorite part. It looks like those old ads from um, magazines. Oh, like wow. they even got like a uh, sorry, an order form and shit. <laughs> like they did really awesome on this set, and I'm so 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 glad I have it. So you, glad. I bet you have to have a lot of shelf space for all these figures. I've yeah, seen. man. Oh, please! I, I had to redo my shelves because, like, <laughs> I was we like, can't... I've had these figures on there for so long. I had to showcase other package figures. I when COVID's over and we all have immunity, we should uh, come to your house and see your museum. He lives in he lives in a different you? state, right? I don't care. We're, yeah, we're they've, 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 seen, they've seen my room. It is. A pig oh yeah. Oh, it's extensive. Yeah. It's let's expensive. see how far. Uh, let's see how far that drive would be. Uh, <laughs> where, 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 it shouldn't be that drive. bad. Like three hours if you guys are in Ohio. Let's go it's from Ray, if we're going from Ray's house in Columbus. Yeah, Ohio. but we're on. I was gonna say yeah, but well, yeah. So if you're you in can't Columbus, go from Ray's house, you do it from Kenton. I want to know how. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. where, where, what's, it's like what's, two and a half. What's the town that you live? You guys are in over there. Uh, it's Aliquippa, but you can just throw in the zip of one five zero zero one. Wow, you have a one. You're yeah. like one of the first colonies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know it's far. It's at least three hours to Columbus. Yeah, I would imagine. Oh God, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Three hours to Sandusky for us. It's three hours to Athens, and that's well, it's not too bad. God damn it! I drove to Sacramento, California once. So, oh, yeah. so this, this yeah. is nothing. drove there. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, with a dog. They oh, had a wow. dog with them. With a dog, yeah. Oh wow. wow. And then when yeah, he got like, there, he had how to. How don't you have this figured out? What are you using? I I went to map I went to MapQuest <laughs> and all and the, and the, I have to have this. You had to print it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you <had to> staple <laughs> it together and print it out. Definitely get, you, the, get the reverse directions. How well, do you said three hours to Athens. <laughs> you said how three you, hours to Athens, so we're at <laughs> least. Two two and a half hours. I got to get the exact now. I'm already in the system. Uh, Wait, how do you how do you spell the 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 town, John? A A L I Q U I P P A. Okay, I got it. That yeah. quit. Three quit hours down. and thirty eight minutes. Oh, that ain't oh, nothing. Right. Oh, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like five hours. We'd have to go <laughs> all the way. <laughs> we'd have to go all the way through Akron and then. Frank, uh, don't leave state. The butthole of Ohio. No. <laughs> well, you guys are right there next to Pittsburgh, eh? Oh, having, oh yeah, dude. Having a lot of fun in I'm Pittsburgh. I live, I live I'm near downtown. Throw away from Evan City. Randy, you, you want to go to you want to go to Pittsburgh and have a have a weekend? Yo, right. come see the come see Monroeville Mall and see the um, <laughs> Romero bus. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah, they got like a big. They got a nice Romero bus commemorating the. the they mall. just have one bus though. No, like everything's completely renovated. I've already been there. It sucks. I heard a guy oh, well, say that. Yeah, I heard a guy thing. say that he he could tell where everything was. He's like, yeah, it's completely I different, mean, but <laughs> you can tell where you know shit was in the, the elevator. The elevator's still there, and that I'm going. Pretty much it. I'm gonna run around the mall and yell shit. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, that's the episode, guys. Uh, 
thanks for doing it again. All right. Yeah. It was good to see all of you. Yeah. All right. You too, man. Glad you, you guys well, are dude. feeling good. Thank you. You guys all hang in there and stay safe oh. over the holiday. If any of your grandmas you come out to kiss you, say no. Yeah. yeah. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy I hope you guys happy. enjoy your turkey day and everything. I'm making a meatloaf, but yeah. Right on. <laughs> are, you okay. shape it, are you gonna shape it like a turkey or something? No, I'm just uh making it easy to make a meatloaf. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, man. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Oh, you stay yeah. you stay at home? Yeah, my my mom lives in a retirement community and they've got a uh COVID case oh there. Oh my god. And I probably couldn't get it again, but they kind of canceled everything. I don't so. know, man. I work with a yeah. woman that said she caught that shit twice. And I'm like, what yeah, the I fuck are you? How are you living your life? Really good for like 90 days. <laughs> you live in your uh, life. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to risk it. So Sorry. mom's yep. just staying inside and everybody's yeah. doing their own things. So. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Pull her up on Zoom. Get, get it going. Eat your meal. Oh, I will. I'll talk to her. I'll Eat call her like meat. 50 times forever. Eat your <laughs> Don't get your your pudding. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for listening and watching and all that stuff. And we'll see you next time. See you guys. Right. See you. Peace, brothers. Later on. Peace.